Maria Josefa Gabriela Carino de Salang, the 19th of March 1731 to the 20th of September 1763, was a Filipina revolutionary leader best known as the first female leader of a Filipino movement for independence from Spain. She took over the reins of her husband Diego Salang's revolutionary movement after his assassination in 1763, leading the Ilocano rebel movement for four months before she was captured and executed by the colonial government of the Spanish East Indies. Early life Gabriela Salang, March 19, 1731 to September 20, 1763, born Maria Josefa Gabriela Carino, was born in Barangay Caniogan, Santa, Ilocos Sur to a Spanish Ilocano father Anselmo Carino, a trader who ferried his wares from Vigan to Abra along the Abra River and a descendant of Ignacio Carino, the first Galician from Spain to arrive in Candon, Ilocos Sur in late 17th century. Her mother was a Tinguian mother who was from a Tinguian barrio in San Quintin Abra now Pitigan. She received a Christian upbringing from the town's parish priest, and attained elementary level education at the town's convent school. After being separated from her parents early in her childhood, she was raised by a priest, who eventually arranged a marriage between her and the wealthy businessman. They married in 1751, and he died three years later. Revolutionary involvement Relationship with Diego Salang After being widowed by her first husband, Gabriela met insurgent leader Diego Salang and married him in 1757. In 1762, as part of what would later be known as the Seven Years' War, Britain declared war on Spain, which caused the British occupation of the Philippines. After British naval forces captured Manila in October 1762, an emboldened Diego sought to initiate an armed struggle to overthrow the Spanish functionaries in Ilocos and replace them with native-born officials. He collaborated with the British occupiers, who appointed him governor of the Ilocos region on their behalf and promised military reinforcement to help in the fight against the Spanish. This reinforcement was, however, never delivered. During this revolt, Gabriela became one of Diego's closest advisors and his unofficial aide-de-camp during skirmishes with Spanish troops. She was also a major figure in her husband's collaboration with the British occupiers. Spanish authorities retaliated by offering a reward for Diego's assassination. Consequently, his two former allies Miguel Vicos and Pedro Beckbeck killed him in Vigan on May 28, 1763. Revolutionary leadership in Abra After Diego's assassination, Gabriela fled to Tayam, Abra to seek refuge in the house of her paternal uncle, Nicolas Carino. There, she appointed her first two generals, Miguel Flores and Tagabuan Infiel. She later assumed her husband's role as commander of the rebel troops and achieved a priestess status amongst her community and followers. Her popular image as the bolo wielding la generala on horseback stems from this period. Assault on Vigan and execution On September 10, 1763, Salang tried to besiege Vigan but the Spanish retaliated, forcing her into hiding. She retreated once more to Abra, where the Spanish later captured her. On September 20, 1763, Salang and her troops were executed by hanging in Vigan's central plaza. Descendants A list of the closest living relatives of Gabriela Carino Salang through her paternal uncle, Nicolas Carino. Some of Salang's living relations still reside in the ancestral house at the Carino family seat of Tayam. The house, now a museum and art gallery called the Casa Museo Carino, is maintained by H.E. Ambassador Rosario Carino. Among the rooms on display is the bedroom of Gabriela Carino Salang while she used the house of her uncle Nicolas Carino as her headquarters when she fled after Diego's murder in 1763. Memorials and Legacy The Order of Gabriela Salang is the sole third-class national decoration awarded by the Philippines, and whose membership is restricted to women. In memory of Salang, the Provincial Hospital of Ilocos Sur was named the Gabriela Salang General Hospital. 
The organization and party list Gabriela. General Assembly Binding Women for Reforms, Integrity, Equality, Leadership, and Action, which advocate S. Women's Rights and Issues, was founded in April 1984 in her honor. A statue of Salang on horseback was installed by the Zobel de Ayala family at the corner of Ayala and Makati Avenues in Makati City, the nation. S. Financial Center. The metal monument was cast by José M. Mendoza in 1971, and was inaugurated by Salang's descendants Gloria Carino and Mario Carino Merit. Another monument stands in the town plaza of Pitigan, Abra, as a reminder of the heroine, whom the town claims as a native. The Tangadan Welcome Tunnel in Abra now has the Gabriela Salang Memorial Park with a monument to the heroine. In popular culture, Salang was portrayed by Tanya Gomez in the 1996 TV series Bayani of ABS CBN in the two episode Gabriela Salang, Ang Alop, and Diego Salang, Ang Sulat. Salang was portrayed by Chris Bernal in the 2013 GMA Network historical drama series Indio and by Glaza de Castro in the GMA News TV television romance anthology Wagas. See also Gabriella References External links and further reading Birthplace of Gabriela Salang, Municipality of Santa, Ilocos Sur Pictures of the Ancestral House of Gabriela Salang Gabriela Salang website Zaid, Gregorio F. 1984. Philippine History and Government. National Bookstore Printing Press.